Okay, so this is the Maglite for iPhone. It's a two-in-one wireless power bank and photography light that you can use not just for your iPhone, but also it works with Android phones as well. This comes in at around $99 on the retail price, but make sure to check the link in the description to find out all the latest pricing information because they do run some really good discounts from time to time. And I've gone ahead and bought the Creative Pack where you can buy this with a few more accessories that I'm going to show you now. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so this is the Maglite, and with that in the box, you get yourself a wrist strap, a carry pouch, USB-C charging cable, and an outside cover for the Maglite as well. You also get a tripod, and this goes in conjunction with the MagPod. This attaches to the tripod, so you can actually attach either your phone or the Maglite, whatever you want. We're gonna try out various different creative ways on how to set this up with your phone. And then you also get something called a MagFlip. This is a very nice magnetic flip out mount that you can use for both your phone and the light and you can use this with the tripod and the magpod as well so various different ways to connect this and it's just very versatile it gives you lots of options to take your photography to that next level so let's go ahead and set this up but before i do that this is also controlled with an app so the app is available for ios or android and i'll show you how it works but let's just take a quick look at the design here so the mag light has two buttons on top of there power to turn it on and mode button to cycle through some of the preset lights and also use that to change the brightness levels as well. You do have a light just there at the back as well. So depending on where you position this, you can actually use a bit of the light here as kind of like a soft light to use on your subject, or you can turn it around and use the primary light, which is a full 360 degree ring outside of this power bank. When you do attach this to your iPhone, it will actually start charging up your iPhone as well because it is a wireless power bank and it's 4,000 milliamp hour batteries and that will give you around six hours at 80% brightness. So let's go ahead and showcase how this works with the app. Okay, so you need to download the Moonside app. Let's go ahead and power this on. Since I've already paired this, it will connect automatically. It will start the connection and then you can start using this to control the brightness levels and the colors as well. So you can see right now it's around 50% brightness I can actually take that down directly from here. You can see it's dropped. Now, if you go into device and go into device settings, scroll down to onboard preset lighting effects. So this is where you'll be able to change some of the preset lighting effects. Now you can see lighting colors just there. You have five presets. If you want to change any of them, you select which one you want to change. So for example, this pink one, if I want to change that to let's say a green color, I can change the opacity as well. Scroll down and then you can do set color. And you can see green is now one of the options. You can see all of your favorite lighting effects and I'll show you how to add more of them to your favorites. So if we go back, we just need to hold this down and this will bring up all of the main controls for the mag light. So right now it's got the brightness control just there. You can see how quick and responsive that is. If you go into effects, these are the three that are favorited. If you want to add more, just click on the All Themes tab here and you will be able to see a whole bunch of themes and you can actually create your own one as well. So if you select any of them, you'll see the mag light will start changing to that effect. Super pulsing, let's try Galaxy Purple. It might be a little bit hard to see the colors in the camera. Let's try something more vibrant. Let's go for more of a Christmas color. So there's various different options and this just makes it nice if you want to take maybe photos of certain objects for your channel. And if there's any that you just want to add, let's say if this is something that I like, then all I can do is just hit heart icon and that will be added to my favorites. You can go into temperature as well. This will set the actual white color. So between bedtime, bright and focusing, you can make adjustments. So if I go into bright, bedtime, and then focusing. And depending on whichever lighting effect you want, you can just make all of the adjustments on the app very easily. And of course you have the color wheel if you want to change anything from here. When you go into paint, this is where you can add your own colors directly from here, which is also a very nice touch. If you want to use this as a power bank, then you need to keep this turned on. But if you don't want to have the light on, then all you have to do is just tap to turn the light off. And as soon as you add this to the back of your phone, you'll see it will start charging. So that's really great. And now let's go ahead and see how to mount this using all of those accessories in various different positions. And let's take some photos with the light. 
Okay, so the most common way is to attach it to the back of your phone and then just use that to take pictures like this. Obviously, you can set this to whichever color and brightness level you want. So let's go ahead and try and set this up with some of these accessories and see how they will also look. So next, if you use the mag flip, you can put the mag light directly onto this and use this to take maybe close up shots of a particular object. And actually, you can actually use the mag flip on your phone and have that attached to the mag flip as well at the same time. So let's just take a quick look of how to do that. So you can see I've got my phone on one side, I've got that on the other side. You can flip it around, you can hold it like this and just maybe use it however you want, which works. If you want to flip that all the way around and close it, then you can actually just flip that to the side and use the backlight that I was telling you about at the start of this video, just from the mag light there, and then use that to maybe just give you a bit of a soft light. But there's lots of different ways on how you can just use the mag flip. And it's very strong magnet as well, so you've got no worries of any of this falling off. Let's go ahead and connect the tripod. Now you can use the mag light on the mag pod, and then it makes it a little bit easier, maybe at a higher angle, to take close up colorful light shots for your object or your subject. You can move things around, you can make sure you get the right position to eliminate shadows, so lots of different options there. But then if you want the complete connection between all of these items, you could then take the mag flip and put it on top of the mag pod and then just use the mag light on top of all of that. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. So I've connected the mag flip to the mag pod, then I have my phone connected to the mag pod on the front side, and then the mag light is connected to the top part of the mag flip. So a lot of mag going on, but you can see how versatile and how much you can play around with this just using the magnets on all of these accessories. This is a very nice way just to make sure you can get all of your shots in a more of a natural light kind of way. I want to show you some example photos that I've taken with this setup, with the lights specifically, and show you a bit of a comparison in the start of what it looks like if I take a photo of my phone without any lights, no flash. Then I'm going to take a photo with the flash directly from my phone, and then I'm going to turn all of that off and only use the mag light as the lighting source to show you how natural and how much better that looks. So let's go ahead and dive into some of those sample photos. Now you can see in the first photo without any light source, then this one with my phone's flash on, and finally with the mag light only. First one being too dark, second one being too bright and causing dark shadows behind me, and the third one looks better with a more natural ambient look and feel, making it seem like there's a nice corner lamp on that's facing me with this warm light color I've set on the mag light. And here's a similar story with a shot of myself standing outdoors, again using more of a warm white colour on the mag light, which I think actually looks really nice with photos. So let's take a look at some more example shots I've taken with this light and how I've tested out its creativity. So that's it, hopefully you found that review useful, the photos look great with this, and it's just a really nice way to fill those extra parts of your subject or your photography with some really nice colours to make it look a bit more vibrant, a bit more natural. And if you don't have the app, you can actually just use this very quickly and easily by cycling through your presets by just pressing the mode button on here. So when you press it once, you can see it will cycle through all of the colours that you've set inside the app. And if you want to change the brightness levels directly from this as well, you just hold down the mode button and this will cycle through every 20%, 20, 40, 80, 100, then it goes to zero and it turns it off like so. That's just basically turn the light off, but the power bank is still on. And then you can just use this as a power bank rather than as a light. But you do need to remember to power it off at the end of the day so that it's just not sitting there consuming power and it you don't want it to drain make sure you also just charge this at least once a month as well just so it doesn't go flat and it doesn't just wear out over time that's it make sure to check the link in the description make sure to check out the moonside website because they have a lot of really cool lighting products and i've been a fan of their website for a long time as well because they've got some really cool lamps that you can get with really funky rgb lighting effects so just make sure to check it out but this is great 
and if you want to take your photography to the next level and also just have a bit of extra power in your backpack then make sure to check out the maglite make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you all at the next one take care